Episode 2 I am heading the C-Class Test Department. Our assignment is to test the complete car and to develop a large number of excellent individual components into a perfect entity. Our second assignment at a later stage of development is to find any faults and identify any problems before the cars are delivered to the customers. We have test catalogs which we work off step by step in the extreme heat of California in the desert, as well as in the extreme cold of Sweden. How does a door open at minus 25 degrees centigrade and also at plus 50 degrees centigrade? We test the entire telematic system and the entire electronics of the car. Each component is once again tested on board the car. The snow absorption test is a time-lapse procedure to simulate real-world driving situations. In this test, neither the intake ducts nor the air filter must clog to such an extent that the engine is no longer supplied with air and may even have to switch to the limp home mode. Instead, the engine has to work properly throughout the test period. Endurance runs on test rigs have been performed at an early stage. The components have already been individually tested before being installed in the car. Our department tests the components once again on board the car. Here we are engaged in digital testing prior to hardware testing because it is not possible to procure the hardware proper in the early stages. It's a question of improving the car during the digital stage to such an extent that we can start hardware testing at a high degree of maturity. The new C-Class was the first for which we digitally verified the complete vehicle from development via production through to after sales. This means we checked at a very early stage, even before the hardware was produced, whether the car can be built and also easily repaired in the interest of the customer. We have verified all this. Would you please drive along this comfort testing track and tell us whether the impression of high comfort is confirmed by the hardware? From the outside, the simulator looks as if it consists of two seats which move in some form. Once you are seated, an impression of realistic driving is instantly created in the tester's mind. We do everything we can to create vehicle behavior that is as realistic as possible, although we know only too well that there will always be certain differences between simulation and reality. With this simulator, we are able to obtain a subjective assessment, something that cannot be achieved with a computer. On a global scale, this is the first time such a simulator is used to transform the down-to-earth data of the digital prototype into perceptible handling and ride characteristics, even before the first car is built. Noch bevor das erste Fahrzeug gebaut wird. In this test, the car crashes into a deformable barrier, this blue aluminum barrier at a speed of 64 kilometers per hour. 
The barrier is to simulate another car involved in an accident, which is why it's deformable. Other cars also have crumple zones. The speed of 64 kilometers per hour is the one at which many collisions happen out on the road. Higher speeds are rarely recorded. At first glance, you can see that the basic structure is intact. The door is still closed, the door cutout is okay, deformation is not excessive, and all the restraint systems were triggered. The airbags were deployed and the belts were tightened. These are the first items we check. After all, we know the car inside and out. After five years of development, we know what to look for. Opening the doors is a crucial criterion in rescuing the occupants after an accident. Either occupants must be able to climb out easily themselves, or the rescue services must gain easy access to the entire interior compartment. Pre-safe is an additional feature which is very important to Mercedes-Benz. In simple terms, it is a system which prepares the occupants and the car before a crash. The occupant, for instance, is moved into the optimum seating position by the belt tensioner or the seat adjustment system itself so as to be subjected to the lowest possible loads in a crash. By means of sensors monitoring lateral acceleration or braking maneuvers, for instance, the system recognizes that a crash cannot be avoided and gives the occupants maximum protection before a collision.